I will say that one, two, three, a lot of blessings came today, this morning, my mini me and me set off to the fundraiser, we won two cakes, <laughs> um, we had hot dogs, it was a good morning, last night Grandma Margaret was brought home by ambulance to come home and that is such good news for Grandma Margaret to be home. I will say that's probably the biggest blessing. Also that my youngest son is spending the night with me and uh, now I am in, in my vast land of trees recording what I wrote this morning. I want to give you words that my convictions in this life were that of truth, love, loyalty, and a rare treat to read. I want to burn you with an emotional roller coaster of passion and bliss, a story in itself that shall leave you as breathless as my life was for me. But that's not how all stories unfold, nor seem. To me, it's all about the confusion of those days that make me question myself and my morality. I have to know I lived my life to the beat of my own drum, that I gave all I had and still continued to try every day. I want to know I held value in the eyes of my children. I need them to see the colors that vibrate off me as I pray for them to listen to the sound of their own beat. I remember those days of being the one with a lot of hostility and rage trapped by my own plague of needing to find out who I am, when all along it was in the addictions that fed this mind with all the empty hallways, and the only person who could save me was me. I was desperately searching for the wrong person to show me that I mattered. I always mattered. I was always loved, held higher than most children were, but nevertheless, I fought against myself for years. I abused myself more than any one person could ever do. Ah, but you see, I had to rebuild me. I had to fight against the biggest opponent you will ever meet. Myself. Day after day, beating myself up over the choices that I had made. Searching for love in every dark alleyway that I could find. Trying to find that divine light. That light that everyone spoke of. That part of me that seemed to be missing. Until I stripped away everything that I thought I had knew. Is when it finally came to me. That light that I so desperately needed. I finally realized that it was always shining down on me. But years of filth and ecstasy of moments and all those dirty elbows. Had left me shamed and diseased. I needed to be cleansed and erased. It's a funny thing to say, but it's true. The energy of all those bad days have a way of making you feel dirty again. They sneak up on you like those boogeymen I talk about. It's that feeling you get for no reason at all. That panic in your chest that for some strange reason, it starts to consume your mind. You have no way to know why, where, or when. You start to lose hope. Your boat that brought you to shore. You want to lose everything and destroy the past, but you cannot keep living in that victim mentality. You have to understand the past is there to teach you, to teach you what you endured was real, that you rose above, that you, you paid your dues and you owe no one anything. You have to crawl before you can walk. Isn't that what they say? Now, that is enough about that. I have to start my day. Believe me, people, more sermons later about life and love and visions of the things you cannot see. But, as I said, today is a blessing. It's time to embrace today, to live in the now.